this key concept video looks at parallel and perpendicular gradients. Okay, so this is for uh, the topic of coordinate geometry. And quite often questions will, will introduce these words, parallel and perpendicular gradients, particularly this word here, perpendicular. It usually occurs in about part D or E in a paper two question. Um, and it'll introduce a new line and say that it is perpendicular to the first line that was presented. So I just want to talk about um, the gradients of both. Starting with parallels, this is this first diagram here. The red line is parallel to the blue line. And when we have parallel lines, the gradients of both are equal to each other. So we'll call this line 1, we'll call this line 2. So the gradient, which is denoted as M, of 1 will equal the gradient of 2. Let's just see if that looks correct. I want to do a rise over run for both. Uh, it's going to be a little bit hard to see. There's no, okay, this point here and this point here. So it's rising one, two, three, four. It's running one, two, three. So this will be, so M1 will equal, so it's run, rising one, two, three, four, four over three. And what about M2? Let's pick another two points. So this point here and this point, actually I'll choose this, yeah, this point here. So it's rising one, two, three, four, and it's running one, two, three. So again, four over three. So parallel lines, the gradients are equal to each other. Now for perpendicular lines, what does this word actually mean, perpendicular? It's, it means that they intersect and the angle between the two is a right angle or 90 degrees. That's what a perpendicular line here means. So if this is line one and this is line two, and this is this new line was introduced and it's perpendicular, it will look like this. It'll intersect directly at a right angle. Now the relationship between the gradients between line one and line two or perpendicular line, it's called a negative reciprocal. So minus one on the gradient of M2. So let's put that into practice. Let's have a look at the gradient of line one. I'll pick this point here and where's another point that it passes through this point here so it's rising one two three it's running one two three four five six so m1 will be a rise of three and a run of six so that'll be one half now let's have a look at m2 so it's this downward sloping line i'll pick this point here and this point here well, it's rising, negative two and running one. Okay, so this is this has this negative reciprocal relationship. Let's just prove that. So M1 is one on two. And if I'm gonna perform this relationship here, my gradient of line two will be minus one on M1. So that is minus one on a half and that is equal to minus two, which is what we had over here. So this is the key relationship. For perpendicular lines, the gradients will be at negative reciprocal or minus one on the other one. Okay, so that's a brief overview there of the gradients of parallel and perpendicular lines. I recommend now practicing some of these questions.